Welcome back to Crack and Flip, guys. Uh, today I have Hour of Devastation. It is opening weekend for Hour of Devastation, so I'm gonna crack open the booster box. I have six loose packs here that I am gonna open up for you guys. If you're new to the channel, um, if you haven't guessed from the name of Crack and Flip, I am financially oriented. So I'll be talking about this set on a financial standpoint, which of course isn't gonna be that good, but I'm gonna keep positive. Alright, we got ourselves one of those uncommon lands. The only uncommon, probably doing pretty good right now, of raid. And hollow one. And uh, we have. Is that a foil? Is that a foil? Yeah, it is a foil. Look at that. Sorry, I'm looking through the, the camera and I can't tell. Look at full art land foil. A hollow one. A rare that might see some play. Um. But yeah, a mountain foil, guys. Look at that. And I love that's why I like buying these packs because you get to snipe some stuff like that sometimes. Let me make a nice little neat pile. A hollow one. Yeah, I like buying loose packs. Um, just because every now and then you're gonna snipe something good, like like a full art land there. I'm gonna open up Omicat. Okay, I think I only had one full art land foil. So, off to a good start for this, even though I'm probably only going to open up one box. Jace's Defeat, Dagger of the Worthy, Liana's Defeat, and Bantu's Last Reckoning. Look at that. Two good rares. Two good rares on the loose pack, so really sniped that box. Really sniped that box. Did not play pre-release like I wanted to, unfortunately. But uh did not so I didn't get to see how these uh cards interact with each other, but it's it's a cool set, Sunset Pyramid. Especially if you're playing limited, I think. We got ourselves a right. Deserts hold and we have a foil for sure. You can feel it. Wildfire Eternal as our rare and a common foil. We got Ronas. Alright, common foil. Two foils, man. We really sniped that box really good. We sniped that box good. I'm really happy with that. Hopefully you pull a Mythic. So I am 7 for 7 at this one store when it comes to finding Mythics and loose packs I buy. So. Hopefully I don't jinx myself. But hey, man, I got a foil for land, so why not? Gideon's Defeat. A lot of defeats here. Jace's Defeat. Dune, Divine, Diviner, and a rare Mirage Mirror. Another full art. Mirage Mirror as our rare. So we're pulling at least the best rares in the in the set, which isn't too impressive. I'm gonna talk about that when we get to the box. But we're gonna keep positive through this whole video. Hope Tender. Got ourselves an oasis, a desert hold, and a rare element um, internal. And another foil, merciless eternal. Man, I really sniped the crap out of that box. <laughs> Three foils, guys. You know that omit um, eternal? I feel like it's gonna find play somewhere. I think it really could be. I know you get a, you can pretty much wipe out a. Wipe it out by casting those spells, but I think just being able to be it blocked. I think that uh, deflect, I guess this was called, um, that's going to be worth it. I think and this is defeat, oasis. We got ruins and a rare, driven to despair. Our last rare for the boost packs. Did pretty good with Bontu's Red Last Reckoning right there. Alright, welcome back guys. Uh, sorry about that quick delay. I am um, operating on my 20, 24 hours of no sleep. So let's get cracking really quick. Open this up. Yeah, I'm pushing myself to get this done because I want to open this up for you guys for this Friday. Let's see if we pull something awesome. It's been a while since I pulled something awesome. Uh, Amaket was kind of a bummer when it comes to that. A lot of cool like regular card pulls, but when it comes to no invocations, even though it opened up, 
quite a few boxes. So let's get started with our first card here, our first pack. Let's see what we get. The world's crappiest lightning bolt. Alright. So set wise, uh, we got threats. We got Blood Water Entity. We got Unraveling Mummy and a rare Hour of Promise. And a second. Oh, my bad. Hour of Promise, my bad, guys. Like I said, I'm looking through a viewfinder, so I get fooled sometimes when it comes to see what uh, what we got. Let me put this rares right here. That that was another foil. Let's see if we find some of those misprints. We've uh, heard a lot of bad things about this set. The curling already, things like that. Doomfall. We got Survivors, Vizier, the Anointed. And a rare angel accommodation. And our first unsummon. It's a good card. It's a really good card for uh, <clears throat> for limited. There, really cool set for limited. Actually, I feel like uh, really disappointed. I get I didn't get to play pre-release. Let me put that over here. Gonna try to keep it neat this time. Really need to work on that. A lot of stuff I need to work on when it comes to my videos, but that one for sure. The other thing is keeping a positive attitude through this whole thing. Cory Beetle. I want to be the positive guy. Mummy. We've got a Hunter and a Rare. It's our... Rare. I'm going to say Mythic. I'm sorry, guys. Hour of Devastation. The best Rare so far. That's before the weekend tournament. Our best. That's pretty good so far. Pretty good. We pulled the best Rare. Hour of Devastation. Um, this set, Hour of Devastation, uh, a lot of hate, man. This is this is totally the hate block. And the problem with that is that hate, especially super specific hate, is sideboard. It's all sideboard, so prices, Angel of the God Pharaoh. Supreme Rare. Uh will. We'll see if this uh pops up in value. We got Punisher. And our first mythic. The Scorpion God. Nice. The Scorpion God. Our first mythic. Is that the good one or is that the Scarab God? I think it's the Scarab. Our first mythic, a god. Not bad. <clears throat> Not bad at all. Um, when it comes to uh, hate cards, they're all cyborg cards. and As you know, cyborg uh, cards don't really go up in value. There's a lot of good hate cards, man. A lot. Really going to keep... Uh, Standard moving, I think, and guessing. This is defeat. We got a diviner, a dagger of the worthy, and a rare, an abandoned sarcophagus. Really gonna keep standard moving, which I think is gonna be cool, but um, yeah, it doesn't really add to value, man. And there's only a couple cards that aren't cyborg in here that are uh, really good. I guess that's why the, the expected value here is so low. And why I'm probably only going to open one of these. Crook. Get ourselves an Eternal. An Oblivion. And that's another Mythic. The guy that no one's going to be able to play. Dude, 8 mana, dude. Who's going to cast 8 mana? 8 mana. I guess Trample is the only thing that's good about him, but yeah. Not a very playable card, especially in this standard. <clears throat> see what else we got. We got Jace's Defeat. We got Survivors. We got Vizier of the Anointed. And a rare, Hour of Glory. That's a pep talk you don't want. Alright. Two Mythics down. A possible only one more. Let's see how it goes. Only one foil so far. So let's see how we do. Condemnation here. Another Eternal, just like the last pack. A Deadlands. We have a foil, I'm pretty sure. And there you go. This is uh, one of the other rares worth something. Can't even begin to pronounce that name. Solemnity. And a foil, a common. 
aerial guide and a floor land. I'm assuming, if you haven't seen the other videos, they're, they're going to be the same amount of um, full arts in a box. I think I averaged like six, I think it was, six or nine. But them being fat packs or bundles, um, having 20 full art lands, yeah, prices aren't going to be good. There's the beetle. There's Desert Hold. Eternal of Heart's Truths. And a rare, a pouncer. That eternal eyes, man. That's that's something that's awesome for for sealed, man. Um, being able to have a a cheap two or three drop, and then being able to bring that sucker back later on as a big five is pretty cool. I think it helps uh, open up some slots. We got Chandra's defeat, a manifestation, and a rare Hazaret's undying fury. And a common foil, a scrapper. That guy is very scrappy. Another foil down. Another rare. Stuff stacked up a little bit. <clears throat> I love that mat. <laughs> I just picked that thing up and it really stands out in my videos and I really like that. It's different. And we got a pain caster. A Hunter, a Dunes of the Dead, and Rona's Last Stand, another full art. Yeah, two, uh, a 5-4 creature. I think it's getting limited, and that's about it. There's only uh, one deck that I can kind of see really taking off of this set, and that's the minus 1-1 one, one token deck. And it's because it would be a, a green black deck. There's a lot of cards that support it. It'll be interesting to see if anyone ever plays it. Or they're going to stick with the, the green black constrictor deck still. And you don't want the constrictor in that, in that minus 1 1 get destroyed. Last word. Last word. <clears throat> Yeah, you'll destroy your own creatures with that. A lot of really strong removal spells, but that whole... The price to pay for it. I'm not sure if anyone's going to want to pay that price of not tapping your lands. Or untapping your lands. You got Tactics, a Ruins, Manifestation, and another Mythic, the Locust God. There's a card that I'm kind of optimistic about. When it comes to Commander, it, it should be a really good Flood card for Commander, and um, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe it will do do well. We'll see, I'll keep an eye on that price. For sure. I know some people are talking about maybe like a League of All thing where you might do an endless combo with it. Overcome, Dunes of the Dead, and we got Scavenging Grounds. Another hate card, a hardcore hate card, but sideboard as well. <clears throat> so I may be the only one, I was all set to buy six boxes, two from, two, uh, two, two boxes per store. Got Jace's Defeat, Survivors, Inferno Jet, and a rare, there you go, a Nimble. Another full art land. I think we're getting a little bit more full art lands this time around. Another good three dollar rare. Those three dollar prices are actually kind of holding, which I'm surprised at. Maybe they were bottom out to begin with. No, pre-release has been really low balling it lately. They've really been low balling it, so there is some optimism for some stuff going up. Striker, a champion, a riddle form. In a rare, another Bantu's Reckoning. We got one of those in the loose packs. Another $3 rare. <clears throat> if you were looking to sell or flip these cards like me, uh, at least wait till the Star City games before you sell anything. It's a good rule of thumb. We got a right, a Chandra's Defeat, a Strength. And a rare hour of revelation. 
another card that might not be cast in standard. There's a mythic man, the uncaged of the Metagari. That mythic I hope to get under two dollars right now and I feel like buying several. Just because that card is so um it's it's a it's a uh, shot in the dark, it's a Hail Mary pass to buy that card. River. Um we got a Hope Tender. Obelisk Spider. And a rare a hollow one. In a full art land. Yeah, to to buy that uh on Cades and Minigari, it's it's a shot in the dark to do, but uh man for five mana casting three threes, uh I think it's gonna be worth it somewhere. I think there's gonna be a combo somewhere out there. And a river. Like who draws a picture of a bird with like a river of blood around them? But look at that bird. There's a couple people that would Instagram that. The world ending and someone stopped to take a picture of a damn bird. Hope tender. We got a grace and refuse to cooperate as our rare and a foil ruins. Our first foil uncommon. Our first foil uncommon. Still got that rare, maybe two rares that are foil in here. See how that goes. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second, guys. All right, Magmarth, a Gideon's defeat. A Minotaur and a Swarm Intelligence. And a foil full art land. A second one, man. Look at that. Two foil full art lands. One from loose packs and the other one from this box. This is a pretty good box. This is about as good as a box you're going to get for our devastation, and that's awesome. That's really awesome. Keeping positive, guys. Keeping positive. We got Tactics, we got Crypt of the Eternals, Do Dune Div Diviner, sorry about that, and we got Wildfire Internal, Wildfire Internal, as our rare. Set these up. Take it up a little bit here. Still some stuff to hope for. We got three Mythics. I think said there could be a fourth or even more. Far in the market, an odd card. Dagger of the Unworthy, Torment of Scarabs, and a rare Mirage Mirror. The full art. I think we do have a lot more full arts than before. That's where we've gotten quite a few already. I'll do a breakdown of the video here to see what we got. Did pretty good on my kid. If you guys want to check out those videos if you haven't already. Oasis, Gas Sphinx, a Claim to Fame, and a Rare, an Earthshaker. Another full art, man. That's a lot of full arts. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah, I did pretty good. I didn't get any invocations in my, on my kit, but man, that set was so awesome. A lot of back-end money to be made. A lot of cards, and I guess pretty well when it comes to selling stuff at their peaks. Gideon's Defeat, a Deadlands, a Pouncer, and we got a Foil. Oh, no we don't. Man, the th I'm off on the thickness, man. Judging the thickness on here, I'm pretty off. My apologies, guys. Easy you can tell. Sunset Pyramid, a Horde, Saving Grace. And a rare, an eternal omit, or omit internal, another foil, wretched camel. Wretched camel foil, quite a bit of foils too. Like I said, this card, possibly. If someone plays that deck, I think that card's going to do really well. And I think there's a combination for that thing. Far in the market, obelisk spider, overcome. An overwhelming splendor is a mythic. Another mythic. Our fourth mythic there, overwhelming splendor. Did pretty good on mythics. We got two gods, so you can't complain about two gods, man. We need a great box, so we need one more mythic to just be, be a great box. A paincaster, a sphinx, a claim to fame, 
and a resilient as our rare. I think we've done really good so far. We have quite a few uh well oh, the rare's worth something I think. This is defeat. Leon is defeat. And we got an abraded and Orchetra's Last Mercy as our rare. Yeah, I think we got all the good rares. Are we missing something? I don't think we are. I call them two full art foils, man. That's awesome. That is awesome. We got Tactics, a Crypt of the Internals, Rule of Form, and another Mythic, our fifth Mythic. Not a good one at all, but fifth Mythic. Not bad. Five Mythic box, there you go. Calling it. This is a good box, man. Unless we find an invocation, this is a really good box. Money well spent. Sunset Pyramid, a Horde, a Scarabs. <laughs> Dude, six mythics, guys. Scarab God, six mythics. Oh, man. This is a great box. Six mythics. Three gods, guys. All three gods. Or am I missing one? I think it's all three gods. Really good box, guys. Best you can hope for. A Paincaster, a Minotaur, a Champion, and Driven to Despair. And here we go. Here's our full rare. Got a Dream Stealer. We haven't even pulled a regular one of those, but our full rare Dream Stealer. No idea what kind of card that is. Haven't even heard of it, so I'm assuming it's a bulk rare. Alright. Kind of disappointing for that, but hey man, five mythics. Imaginary threats tend to be a dunes and the endless sands as are rare. You know, when it comes to rare lands, you never know. You never know if someone's gonna play them, throw them up there. See how it goes. Always good to hold on to those until maybe the Pro Tour. But, yeah. Oasis. Same thing with these cards. These are really good. Uh, sealed. Struggle to survive. Sorry about that. A Strength and Torment of Hellfire. Another good rare. Last three packs, guys. Is there going to be an invocation? Let us see. Is there going to be invocation? Alright. Sand. A Vizier and God Pharaoh's Gift. God Pharaoh's Gift. Come on. Invocation, guys, to make this thing awesome. A six mythic box. It's good to begin with. Sorry about that. Oasis, Vizier of the True, Vizier of the Anointed, and, <laughs> damn, Crested Sun Mirror. Oh my god, look at that! Oh man! Holy, the Scarab God. What? What? Oh my god. There you go, guys. That's how you snipe something. Oh man. Dang. Dang, man. Wow. I can't wait to that breakdown because, man, that is just. Uh, far in the market, a beetle, a Punisher, and a last rare, a Doom. A Doom is our last rare, guys. Alright, time for the breakdown because, man, man, man. Breakdown, guys, first off. The Uncommons, really not uh, there to be sold yet, I don't think so. Claim to Fame, I think has a little bit of ways to go. Same thing as Supreme Will. Um, holding on to these for sure, see how uh, this Sunday turns out with the Star City Games Tournament. But yeah, two two of each and then one Supreme Will. That's our first breakdown for Uncommons, I think pretty good. Some stuff to look forward to when it comes to the Uncommons slot. Hopefully, hopefully things go up, especially with Claim to Fame and that whole... Being able to summon Tomagoyf and all that stuff, Snapcaster, things like that. So, let's move on to the full art lands first. So, 15 full art lands. Um, I believe it was 9. It was, it was probably 9 full art lands from all my kit per box that I was averaging. And it opened like 6 or 7 boxes, so that's a pretty good average. 
Um, got 15 here. 15. Um, either that's a really good box, which it probably is, because this box was insane. Um, and Or they just upped the amount of 4 lands. 4 lands, uh, don't mock these things, man. I sold uh, 10 of each color uh, for $20. I was selling, I was selling that, you know, every color for $20, 10 of each. So I sold multiple of those pretty quickly too. I don't think they only lasted a day on eBay. So yeah, these, these things go a long way, especially if you open up some fat packs or bundles. Um, you got 20, 20 in there. So go a long way to that total. All right, guys. So here are the rares. Of course, we got ourselves the big boys right here in the middle and then Bantu's Last Reckoning as the most valuable rares. Our Devastation being at $8. The other ones are dollar are rares above a dollar. Amit Eternal is one of those rares, like I said, I'm really optimistic about. I really want to see that deck being played at Star City Games. So I'll see how everything does. But so far, the rare slot, the rare slot's iffy in Our Devastation. But still, pretty good total. We have everything except for the Excavator, the um, creature, Crucible of Worlds, basically. So on to the foils and the mythics that were insane in this box. So here are the foils, which are awesome. Um, two uncommon foils, which is kind of low for a box, but uh, that's probably because we got some good stuff. I am including the full art foil from the loose packs in this as well. Same thing was including the loose packs in the total as well. Um, two full arts, one being sniped from another box, the other one from this awesome box. We got ourselves five commons, two uncommons, a rare no one's ever heard of, but who cares about that? We have ourselves a foil mythic, this scarab god. I mean, double sleeved already, moments after opening. Uh, yeah, man, this is just, just awesome to pull a good foil mythic on this channel. It is pretty cool. I pulled in foil mythics before, but they're usually not the best. Not the best, but that is so awesome to pull that. Pretty awesome, man, like I said, to pull a foil art land and a foil mythic. That is good, man. That is good. On to the mythics. We got gods for days, guys. Gods for days. We have four gods. I had to include the foil mythic again. Eight mythics in this one box. Eight mythics in one box, guys. That is insane. Two Scarab Gods, a Lotus God, a Scorpion God. And of course, uh, Crested Sunmare, I think I think that's a card that, that has some potential. Not for the the horses thing, but for, you know, there are plenty of modern decks that have life gain and to drop a five five every time that happens, that's that's gonna be a part of some deck. So but yeah guys, an eight mythic box for our devastation i think that's one of the best things you can get for our devastation really happy if, if this is going to be my only one and only box i'm insanely happy with that so here you guys go like and subscribe guys this is richard for crack and flip you guys have a good one